Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, we are going to look at how we go about completing this drawing here. And this drawing is under the topic enlargement and reduction of plane figures. This method, which is what which we are going to look at right now, is called the direct method B. Alright, so we have this figure here figure a b c d that we're going to draw and then we're going to reduce it to get a1 b1 c1 d1 and then we're also going to enlarge it to get this figure here so it says that um the in the drawing below um angle d a b which is this angle here angle d a b equals 30 millimeters all right so angle d a b equals sorry not 30 millimeters 90 degrees sorry angle dab equals 90 degrees it says that ab equals 45 millimeters so from a to b equals 45 um bc equals 40 so b to c is 40 and then it also goes on to say that um it also goes on to say that cd equals 30 so from c to d equals 30 and da equals 20. so we're going to go and we're going to start by drawing this figure here figure a b c d so to draw that figure let's go to autocad all right so we're going to start that figure here and we are going to start with um a d right here and it says that da is 20 so that's going to be 20. all right so select a line turn on ortho da is 20 so that's 20 all right and then uh, down here from a to b is 45 all right and this angle is 90 so we'll just turn on ortho and draw the line down all right so that's 90 all right so we have a b c and d so let me just let me just label those by selecting a text and uh just put a place to start create a little rectangle to write my text and then i'll write um so this is going to be a so i'll just write a and let me change the color of a to yellow change the color to yellow and then let me just let me just move this to the different points so let me turn off ortho for that all right so that's a and now i'm going to copy a and bring it to the different points so a all right okay all right so this right here would be point b and then over here now this would be point d nice all right let me just move let me just move this b a bit closer to the line i don't want it to snap to the line I'm going to turn off object snap and just bring it a little bit closer to the line like that. same thing for the d here i'm going to move it and bring it a bit closer to the point right there nice all right so now we have a b and d we need to find point c we need to find point c it says that point c from b to c equals it says b c equals 40 all right so b c equals 40 and c d equals 30 all right so we are going to use those measurements to find c so bc equals 40 so we're going to select a circle and for the circle we're going to choose center radius all right so i'm going to click at this point here at point b let me turn on back object now. i'm going to click at point b and i'm going to draw this circle with a radius of 40. why 40 because bc is 40 all right so drew that circle with a radius of 40. so now it says that um cd all right C D is 30 so we're going to select a circle again we're going to go to d and we're going to draw a circle and this time we're going to draw a circle with a radius of 30. why 30 because cd is 30. so that means that where the two circles meet that's point c so i'm going to draw a line from d to where the two circles meet here and then draw a line from there to b all right so now i can uh, i can get rid of these circles or let me just let me just change them to um to a construction line and let me see if they disturb the drawing if if they do i will re just remove them 
all right they're okay we're gonna let them stay because um they were a part of the construction so you have to have to show your construction lines as well so i'll just leave them there all right so i'm going to copy this a here all right i'm going to copy this and just bring it down to this point and then just change this to c just click on it and let me change this from a to c since that is point c all right so we have that figure drawn a b c d so that's our figure right there so now we have this figure a b c d so it says the next step here it says to it says we're supposed to draw the the, the given figure locate point point p all right so we're going to locate p near the middle and draw lines from p as shown right here so this is p and we just draw lines from p so we're going to reduce it we are going to reduce the figure we're going to get this small figure then we're going to enlarge it and get the larger figure so the ratios that we're going to be um, reducing and enlarging by are going to be three to five and five to and eight to five sorry respectively all right so we're going to reduce this by um three to five so first thing the first thing that we're going to do is to find point p so point p is anywhere near the center all right I could just i just selected a line so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select a line and i'm going to use a construction line for this so let me come out of a white line and select a construction line like like a grayish color line and then i'll go anywhere near the center all right so p is not one specific point it could be anywhere near the center so i'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna click somewhere near the center and let that be my point p so i'll click right here all right and then from p i'm going to draw a line to d then i'm going to i'm going to extend this line all right no specific distance now just extend it though like that this that, that should be good all right i'm going to do the same thing at a from this point here my point p i'm going to draw that line to a all right then i'm going to click on that line and i'm going to click here and i'm going to extend this out the same angle all right and then i'm going to do the same thing for i'm going to do the same thing for this point here Going to bring that to C, and then I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to extend it out. Same angle. Now, if the angle if the angle changes, as you can see, this isn't just the same angle that the first line was drawn. At. I can just press Escape and then click it again and see if I can get the angle. If I can't get the angle, I will just um yeah. So let me just Escape, click on the line, and then now I should get the angle. Okay, do this then. Let me redraw this line. Let me just redraw this line very quickly. From P to C. Okay. And then now, let me extend this. There we go. There we have the angle. All right, nice. Um, if you're not getting the angle, just ensure that you have um this turned on right here. All right, auto snap. All right, no. What am I going to do here now? Okay, so from here, I'm going to draw a line from, from the center to B. I'm going to draw a line from the center to B. No, here, here, here. This is my point P. Okay? Point P. I'm going to copy C, bring it to there. And I'm going to change this and call it point P since this is my point P. All right, so that is my point P. No, we are going to um, find the point B1. As you can see for here, this is point B1 here. Cool. So this is point B1. And to find point B1, we're going to have to divide PB. We're going to divide PB into 5. Alright? We're going to divide PB into 5 equal parts. Alright. Good. So, here's what I'm going to do. Over here. Alright. I'm going to divide this into 5. So, I'm going to type divide. I'm going to select the line and after i select the line i'm going to enter the number of segments that i want to divide this line into and i want to divide this line into five all right so five enter 
all right good so this is now divided into five equal parts all right so that's divided into five equal parts so in order for me to right now i'm not seeing that it's divided so for me to see that it's divided i'm going to type ddp click on ddp type and i'm going to select any one of these and i'm going to use this one i think five might be too large some changes are like two click ok and then i'm seeing the division points right there all right so those are my division points so this is divided into five one two three four five so the reduction that we are going to be doing is going to be up a at a ratio of three to five so <clears throat> if i was to label my, my if i was to number my division points this would be one two three four and then b would be five so this would be my point three so since i'm reducing the drawing by um three to five i'm going to copy this line from here and bring it to point three all right so that that line at point three is parallel to line bc all right this line here is parallel to line bc so from here the drawing gets simple this line here would go up vertically to meet this line all right so i could just um turn on ortho here and draw that line up to meet that line or i can just copy this line all right i could copy line a b copy it from b bring it to that point there and i'm going to copy line b c i'm going to copy line b c copy it from here and bring it to that point there then i am going to copy line dc here i'm going to copy line dc i'm going to copy it from c and bring it to where this line here meets line pc all right so where this line from the from the from division point three from where that line meets on pc right here like that good so now i can trim out what i don't need so let me type trim tr enter and then enter again so the short code for trim is um tr enter enter all right and so let me just let me just delete these let me delete all of these all right there we go let me delete oh this 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 line this line is not drawn, the, drawn to the right point as you can see so we have to change that that line all right so this line shouldn't be here this line should instead and the yeah, drawing lines it's good to zoom in to ensure that the draw lines at the right point so that line should instead be there all right yes so that means that we will delete let me just um delete that I should have, yeah and then i can trim out the part that i don't need so let me trim tr enter enter all right nice lovely all right so there we have that <coughs> all right so what i'm going to know is I am going to click on that. So I'm just trimming out this, trimming out all of these. Trim that. Okay, and let me also trim this. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, so this is our reduction right here. See? So this figure now is reduced at a ratio uh, of 3 to 5. All right, so let me, let me, let me just make sure that I'm saying that right. Yeah, it's reduced at, at a ratio of 3 to 5. So now, we're going to enlarge it at a ratio of eight to five all right so we're going to do the enlargement so this here the larger figure that's the enlarged figure so we're going to do the enlargement of that and we're going to do it at a ratio of five to sorry of eight to five so to do that now this is what we are going to do here this line is divided into five right one two three four five and then we're going to do the enlargement at a ratio of eight to three all right so that means that we're going to extend this line but how much are we going to extend that line by so let me show you how much we're going to extend the line by i'm going to go to utilities and, and measure and select distance and i'm going to measure the distance from the from here all right from there from the second division point so this is division point one this is division point two i'm going to dip, uh, measure the point from here to b and that's 18. Now, why did I measure the point from here to B? Because from here to B is three divisions, as you can see. One, two, 
3 all right and 5 plus 3 would give me 8 all right so if from here to here is 8 is is 18 that means that if i draw a line from here at the same angle and draw a line at 18 then i would get the point that i'm looking for out, out here all right so that's why i measured the 18 from this point down here i could have also measured and this i should get the same amount so let, let me just check to ensure that um to show you that it is indeed correct so if i measure from p from p here to this point to three divisions which is b one two and this is the third division i should get the same 18 and as you can see that is 18 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend this line down at the same angle and i'm going to extend it by 18 all right so the angle in selecting there so let me just select this line again and um, extend this there is the angle and i'm going to extend this by 18 all right nice so there we extended that by 18 all right so now that that is extended by 18 at the same angle i know that this is my point that i want out here what is this point this point here would represent that point there would represent this point here b2 so this is how we find b2 here all right by just drawing that out by three of the divisions all right so from b1 to p is the same as the distance from b to p2 all right so from b2 here i'm going to draw a line up meet this line here all right so let me let me let me change from out of the construction line and so let me select a white line so i'm going to draw a line from that point from b2 let me turn on ortho since i'm going to be drawing a vertical line and i'm going to draw this line up to meet this line here or i can just draw it past it and then trim out what i don't need tr enter enter and trim off that piece nice and then from here i'm going to just draw a horizontal line from there to over here all right now why did i draw a horizontal line i drew a horizontal line because this is a horizontal line right here d is a horizontal line so this point here would be a2 d2 which would be parallel to ad but since ad is a horizontal line a2 d2 would also be a horizontal line so this is why i do this as a vertical line because ab is a vertical line so a2 d2 would also be a vertical line so for lines um b2 c2 and um, c2 d2 this is what we're going to do i'm going to copy this line here from b bring it to point b2 down here and then i'm going to extend it to meet this line here i'm just going to click on that line and extend it at the same angle oh um arthur is on i'm going to turn off arthur and there's my angle and there's my angle so i extend it a little bit past um the point so i can trim out what i don't need PR enter enter or you can always just select the trim tool over here all right then i can delete this no i'm going to do the same thing for this line here dc and i'm going to get d2 c2 so i'm going to copy this line here from b bring it to this point here that would be d2 all right and i'm just going to extend it to meet this point here all right and just like that we have our enlarged figure all right so this is how you would do the enlargement for a figure using the direct method a this is how you would do the enlargement and reduction of a figure using the um direct method b all right direct, direct method b sorry all right so i do hope that you found the video helpful and thanks for watching and do have yourself a wonderful day